Okay, the next step is to cut the mortise and tenon joints for these rails and, and slats. Um, this is a prototype, if you remember, and each one of these slats is connected to this rail and this apron by a mortise and tenon joint. So I'm set up, getting set up to do that today. Here's a sample mortise that I've cut. The one on the right is the in initial hole that I use with my uh, plunge router and a half inch spiral upcut bit. Uh, you notice it's a round hole. And then next to it, I've squared it off with a chisel because the uh, tenons will be square. So I've got to make the round hole into a square hole. So I've set up my dado blade in my table saw. A dado blade is made up of two outside blades with chippers and spacers in between to get the width that you want. I want a half inch tenon, so I set this for about for, for a 9 16 dado. Uh, so I don't want to, I'm, I'm going to not use part of the blade. I'll show that setup in a little bit. And I've got this uh, insert that I've made just for my dado blades. So in a minute I'll show you how I set up to cut the tenons. I've got a scrap piece here that's exactly the same size as the slats and I've marked on the end of it a line at one eighth of an inch. I want to go one eighth on all sides and what I'll do is just practice on this, this one until my tenon fits that mortise and then I'll uh, cut the, uh, the other slats. And what I'll do is just lower this blade and sneak up on it a little bit at a time until I get it exactly the right height and then I'll uh, cut my tenons. Okay, I've installed a sacrificial fence on my saw with my dado blade so I can kind of bury the blade into it a little bit to get the width I want without damaging the blade or the metal fence. I've cut two sample tenons and what I did is I just started slightly below my mark and raise my blade little by little just sneaking up on that mark and then trying it out in my mortise until I got a fit. And you see that this one, uh, this one fits right in there. So uh, now I'm ready to start cutting uh, the tenons on all my slats. I'll show you a couple of them and then I'll turn the video off because it's going to get kind of boring. Okay, <clears throat> I need to do that to uh, 32 slats on both ends. So it's going to be a lot of repetition. You can see that this uh, fits. That's, that's the way the uh, slats will be attached. 
and then later on I'll show you how I drill the, the mortises and make sure that they're evenly spaced and then uh, square them off with the chisel. Okay, well I had the dado set up for the tenons. I went ahead and did all the aprons and styles and drawer frames. Well now I need another operation on the aprons and styles and that's to cut this little notch out of the corner. Now some purists will tell you that that tenon is not long enough for that size of board and I won't argue the point with them but this is a net bedside table it's not going to have a lot of stress on it. If it were a chair, a desk, a dining table, something like that I probably would make the tenons a lot longer. Uh, but I think this will work fine. So what I've done is I've set uh, I've left my fence set exactly where it was, but I've raised the blade now to three quarters of an inch so I can cut that little uh, cheek cut so when the tenon goes in, it'll cover all portions of the mortise. So I'm going to cut a couple of those and show you how that's done. And then I've got uh, all my aprons and styles to do, so it's just more repetitious cuts. So that's the, uh, the cheek cut for the mortise, or excuse me, for the tenon. And like I said, I've got a lot more of them to do, so I'm going to get started.